Hello, it is Cyber Monday, so I thought I'd dump uh, some some tax stuff on you that you may find value in, and I don't think a lot of people have seen my other, other video that I'll link the card to up here, which is uh, taxes for producers or artists or musicians. Um, so you might wanna check that out. But yes, it is Cyber Monday. We just went through Black Friday, and I'm sure lots of people were buying lots of things, because that's just what we do. And uh, my studio is a little bit of a mess, my office slash studio, because I had some issues with water coming in. I had a leaky roof and it was right over where my computer was. Luckily, uh, I was able to catch the leak pretty quickly. Um, got it fixed yesterday by a roofer and I'm, it's raining again today. So I'm hoping that everything works out smoothly. There's no more leaking because uh, I did get my new iMac Pro. Although I think I might switch around the office a little bit because I'm a little bit hesitant to set that computer up in an area where I saw it leak, like I'm just scared, it frightens me. I might be thinking about it every time it rains, so I sort of have to reconfigure this. But anyway, let's get back to taxes, Cyber Monday, all that good stuff. So I've, I've seen some messages about, hey producers, artists, make sure you spend your money because you do not want to have to pay extra in taxes, right? If you've made a lot of money this year from your music, try to spend some of that money so that you don't find yourself having to pay that much money to Uncle Sam in taxes. and. You think about it and you're like, yeah, I don't want to pay a lot of taxes, so I'm going to spend this money. But how, well, like, if you spend the money, how are you going to pay for your rent, your car insurance, like all the bills that you do have and that you do need to pay for, right? Because you're working to make money, not just to spend it. Aren't you working to make that money so that you can, uh, you know, invest in, in your future and things like buying a house, possibly buying a car, possibly, uh, you know, those types of things are important. So if you're spending all your money, all the money you made, you don't have anything left over afterwards and it's just not good business, right? Because the whole point that you, you know, you're selling your beats, if, if you, you know, you enjoy doing it, okay, I don't want to take away from that. You're being an artist, you enjoy doing it, right? Okay, but if this is something that you really want to build a career out of, at some point, the goal is to be making enough money to support yourself by doing that, which means you can't spend all of that money. Inevitably, when you're making money, you are going to have to pay taxes. That is just the way the world works. And it's not a bad thing. It's just the way it is, right? You made a certain amount of income, whether you were getting a paycheck from a company or you're getting making your own money, you have to pay taxes. So just always keep that in mind. Really important to just remember, that's the way life is. What you can do and you may not be aware of is if you have your one job, let's say your day job, let's say you work at Best Buy, for like 32 hours a week, 40 hours a week, and then your other job is you pursuing your dreams as a producer, or musician, artist, DJ, whatever the case is. You've got your Best Buy job, you've got your producer DJ job, all right? You're making money from both of them. Over here on the Best Buy job, you are getting taxes taken out of your paycheck. Let's say your paycheck for the week is $800, but when all your taxes are paid to the federal government, the state government, Medicare, whatever else, uh, Social Security rather, whatever else, you just end up walking home with $500 cash, okay? Over here, when you get paid as a DJ producer, let's say you get like $2,000, you have no, no taxes taken out of that. So you're gonna end up, when you file your taxes at the end of the year, having to say, hey, I made $2,000, and then pay your taxes at that point in time. But here's the really cool thing when you have these two jobs, and I really just want people to understand that this is how it is so that you take advantage of what is due to you. You've paid $300 in taxes over here at Best Buy, right? Uh, for that one, for, you know, obviously more, but for this one paycheck. Now you can offset that with your expenses that you have over here for your DJ producer, whatever business. So if you want to buy a new computer, let's say for two, you know, let's say $4,000 and you only made $2,000 as a DJ producer, you have $2,000 more that you had as an expense. You can offset that against the taxes that you've paid to Best Buy. Um, there's lots of ways to look at this. I could do lots of sample scenarios in my head, but that's just one of them. Uh, the other way to look at it is that you've already paid some taxes, right? So if you make this revenue, that's, you know, you make $2,000 from your producer business and you um, just take like standard deduction, whatever the case, you don't have any write-offs, you don't, you know, you're not like doing any expenses. You may still find out that you don't necessarily have to pay any tax on that money just because where you fell with how much taxes you paid, maybe you over 
overpaid on your Best Buy job. Uh, again, lots of ways the scenarios could work out, but I just want you to be aware of them and I don't want you to be scared of filing taxes because it's not that bad. Use TurboTax, even if you're gonna write off some deductions and stuff for your job that's as a musician, a DJ, an artist, it's not hard. So don't leave any money on the table, right? What's due to you, you should get what is due to you, but don't overspend. So the point of this video is to say, hey, be sure you're running a healthy business, right? If you're being a producer, an artist, whatever, and you wanna make a living out of that, you have to understand that you can't just spend all the money you make. Yeah, to a degree when you start out or when you're marketing, there's certain investments that you're going to make in your business that may be, you know, pretty substantial, but, or for the duration of when you're trying to build this business, you can't do that year after year after year after year, right? If you bought a new computer this year and that was one of your big tax deductions and expenses, like don't buy another new computer next year just because something newer came out. You're spending your money foolishly if you're doing that. If it's not something that is actually going to help you in your business and help you get further, further where you wanna be, then it's not worth the expense. I mean, just be smart with it. Just because you have extra money in your pocket, don't spend it. So now, circling back to Cyber Monday and all the great deals that are out there, I just hope you're being smart, okay? Like, if there's a synth you want, but you've already got another, like, VST that you're barely using and you haven't really, like, dove into it and you don't really understand the power of it, don't go out there and buy a new synth. Uh, you're just going to bury yourself even more. And, yeah, maybe it's, like, 25% off, but uh, I don't know. Is it really worth the investment? Wait till next year. You know it was on sale this year, so wait till next year. Get it next year. Get to know the synth you have. Get the other one next year. And it's hard. I'm guilty, too. It's hard. I get it. It's hard because there's so many toys out there. We're gearheads, we want them all. But just try to be smart with your purchases. And again, just don't look at it from the fact, and I had to make this video because everybody talks about, oh, tax deductions, make sure you spend your money, make sure you spend your money so that you don't have to pay a lot in taxes on all the money you made as a producer this year, you know, whether that's 2,000, 5,000 or 10,000 or even more. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, I, I just can't, it's, it's hard for me to listen to because it's not, it's not totally smart business. And uh, would you want to, if you were buying stock, would you want to invest in a company that, um, you know, that was doing that? Uh, it, yeah, I, I, you wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't because obviously they're not being smart with their um, shareholders' money, right? So you, you wouldn't. But anyway, treat your own business like uh, it truly is a business and be smart about it. All right, that's all I have for you today. Once I get my studio hooked up, I'll be talking about hopefully my iMac Pro and hopefully I'll be doing more hands-on, getting inside Studio One um, and um, working with Machine a little bit more. And I've actually been doing a house remix in Ableton. So I've really been hopping all over the place and that's this has been a lot of fun. I've been spending a lot of time on it, hours and hours and hours on it, um, mostly because I haven't done a house remix in a very long time, I've only done one. So this is the second time I've done it and it's very different than what I've been doing and it's really been a fun challenge. I'm learning a lot uh, and it's good stuff. So thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.